What's up, Hula Hoopers? Welcome back to the Sacred Flow Art Channel. I'm Lyora of Full Circle Phenomenal, and today's tutorial is dedicated to those hoopers who are getting ready for their first burn. Here we'll be going over transitional moves for getting in and out of hooping on the body to hula hooping off the body, as this is gonna be the most important transition for fire hooping. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for we'll be putting out two new tutorials every week in 4K. Today we're here in Bocas del Toro in Panama, staying at Hotel Bocas Town. If you ever come to the area, definitely check them out. Let's get started. All right, so most beginners are practicing with a regular hula hoop, not with a fire hoop with the wicks on. So we're gonna be going over all of these tricks with both of the hula hoops so I can demonstrate what it looks like with the wicks on and as you're practicing at home with no wicks. First and foremost, we have the basic hula hooping around the waist. This is a prerequisite for being able to fire hoop. Next, we have the transition into waist hooping while your fire spinning is simple. You can just bring the hoop over your head, around your body, give it a wind up, and there you go. There's another transition into the fire hoop by stepping through the fire hoop and getting it going like that. So how do you get out of waist hooping? If you're spinning the hoop around your waist like this and you don't have a method for getting out other than putting your hands in front of the hoop to stop it, you run the risk of getting in the way of the wicks. And with these on fire, it's not a good thing because when your hand gets in front of you, you're gonna to touch the fire, right? Also, these are made of hot metal and that is more dangerous than the fire itself. So as you're practicing at home with your regular hula hoop, notice how you're stopping the hoop if you're just lowering a hand and grabbing it on the outside, keep in mind that your wicks are gonna be on the outside too. And timing exactly where the wicks are as you're hula hooping around the waist and as a beginner is a lot more challenging than this transition I'm about to show you. I'm gonna turn my body so you can see a little bit more of what's going on. This is kind of like the tornado trick. We'll leave a link for this trick also in the video description below. Get yourself hooping around the waist and bring your hand behind so that you can grab it on the inside of the hula hoop. Now there is a trick to this. If you're hula hooping to the left, you'll want to grab it with your right hand. If you're hula hooping to the right, you'll want to grab it with your left hand. So you're grabbing it with the opposite hand from which you're spinning the hula hoop in. I'm spinning my hula hoop to my left, so I'm gonna grab it with my right hand. Here we go. And just get familiar with placing your hand right behind your back, palm facing out, and keeping the hula hoop there. It's gonna be a little bit more challenging to keep the hula hoop there, but I just want you to start getting familiar with the hand placement, because that's where you're gonna be grabbing the hula hoop and then turning your whole body, just like the tornado trip, trick like I mentioned, turning your whole body around as you lift it up overhead. This is the most simple way, and I know it doesn't seem simple at first, but it is gonna be the most simple way to get yourself out of hula hooping for fire hooping. Let's go over it with the wicks. Get your hula hoop spinning around the waist, and we'll be placing our hand behind the back palm facing out so that we can grab it. Now, if you end up grabbing the hula hoop right around a wick, that's okay. Keep your fingers relaxed so that they can straddle or scissor right around the wick. As long as your fingers are not out, you're not gonna be touching the hot metal so much. So just keep in mind you wanna keep your fingers relaxed and grab because it's only gonna be for a split second before you whip it around and then it's back up in the air with your hand on the inside of the hula hoop. Let's do that one more time. Now it'll be important for you to practice this many times before you do it with fire because there is a, a split moment right there when you're moving it above the head where your hand is not on the inside of the hoop. Like I said, you're grabbing it from the inside of the hoop, but as you swing it around, there's a split moment where it comes around to the outside of the hula hoop. I'm using my other hand to stabilize, but what I'm talking about is right here. So it comes around and then you need to open your hand 
so that it spins around your thumb for a brief moment as you slide your hand inside of the hula hoop and then you have it above the head. Here it is in slow motion, bringing my hand back, palm facing out, grabbing the hoop right next to the wick. Oh my goodness, but that's okay. We're gonna keep moving it up over the head. Open the hand out. The hula hoop's momentum brings it around as I pull my fingers to the inside, hand to the inside. And now we can hula hoop above the head. You might practice this trick alongside the four directions because you're using that same technique just in a different plane where you hit a cross point or in the in the vertical plane you'll be hitting more of like a tornado because it's going up overhead but as you're doing it with the four directions it'll be with your hand on the inside of the hula hoop you'll hit a cross point stick your thumb inside let go for a brief moment as that hula hoop spins around and you stick your hand in again We'll leave a link for this trick in the description below as well. Thanks so much for watching. Definitely keep practicing and you'll get better with each session. For more in-depth warm-ups, cool-downs, as well as full-length yoga classes and more adventures as Jesse and I drive around the world, head over to our YouTube channel at Full Circle Phenomenal. We'll leave a link below next to my name in the video description. Share this video with your friends and Flomies. We wouldn't be able to grow the Florets community around the world if it wasn't for you. We'll see you around the world.